action. Hey everybody, welcome to our brand new MMA Roasted Podcast. It's going to be a great show. We got the Ween Dog is here with Mount Rushmore behind you. What's up? Uh, you, you are very topical. Uh, as well as <laughs> my man Chang is here. Uh, we got a great show. We got Vince Pichelle, who's very angry, coming, calling in at the mayor of California. He's pissed. Governor? Uh, the governor of California. Yep. He said he wants to murder somebody uh, <laughs> and then get out of jail since I'll let him out of jail. So um, Vince, as well as Don Fry and uh, Alicia Zapatella, who uh, is a 7-2 and two fighter who's also super hot. Uh, like super hot, and um, she, uh, I actually texted, Don Fry texted me, he goes, he goes, hey man, how much can I cuss, right? So I said, the more the merrier, you know, we don't care about this, and he goes, uh, who's on the show with today? I said, comedian Shang and UFC fighter Vince Michelle and Ween Dog. He goes, sorry, but I don't know either, either any of, uh, either of them. Please tell me uh, some information on each, please, right? I go, okay, Shang is a funny, overweight black comedian from New York City who loves fighting. All right. Uh, you're not only that overweight, but uh, bigger. I'm working okay, on it. Okay, all right. Uh, Vince is an angry, an angry Republican UFC fighter who was a part time AAA worker. He was arrested 12 times for turning 21 and hates, to, hates the governor of California. So Don Fry writes, AAA worker. Like, right. And then uh, <laughs> I go, yeah, AAA. And I go, uh, car towing. Also, Alicia Zapatella will be with us. She's 7 and 2, 25 year old wrestler from Michigan, 105 pounder who made the world team, right? And, and I, I sent her this picture who you can't see. She's in lingerie, uh, which she, she posted on Instagram. And he goes, World team in what? Lingerie? So, so that's our show. So we already know yeah. what's going to go down. <laughs> see, look, I, I actually, I was 316, I'm 289. 289? That's good. Congratulations. I was almost 300 pounds at one time. It is not easy to lose weight. 289. Yeah, you look good. You do look good. Sorry to say overweight. Now, now, now I feel bad. No, no, I'm not saying it like that. No, I really haven't. I, I think that I just got, you know, lethargic from this shit. This shit well, you know, you, well, you almost died. Yeah, and that, that, that might have been part of it, too. Yeah, you were, over, you were in the hospital for how long? Total, um, like a month and change. Yeah, I mean, you couldn't do anything. I remember when you yeah. got out of the hospital, you could barely walk. Yeah. Uh, so. I'm good now. I'm good, I'm good now. Um, it's just, you know what's the hardest thing? I think about. Well, first of all, I'm sorry. You're not overweight. I was trying to make him laugh. No, no, I, I, not I, I agree with you. Now I, I feel agree with you a thousand percent. I agree with you a thousand percent. I still, I still got work to do. But no, I mean, it, it, it's, it's something that I've been focused on. I've been really focused on. And the only thing that's been bothering me, my shoulder is still bothering me. It's really fucking with me, but. Still doing what I got to do in the morning, so. Well, you look it. great. You look great. For an old man. Uh, I'm 75 again, years old. I think I look pretty good for 75. No, you look great, and I will admit when I'm wrong. And I was wrong for – I was just trying to make Don Fry laugh. I didn't think I was going to – Oh, no, he's, a, he's an animal. I don't care. Sure. I know how he is. But uh, but you're not overweight. You, ha you happen to be, what, 6'4"? Well, I'm 6'2". two. I'm six 6'3". You're 6'2". You're a big dude. Um and uh, and I and you look good. I, I I tell you work. I see you working out on Instagram all the time. So well, you know what? You know what? That's hilarious. Look at we. For some reason, threw me off. Ween is one of the people that founded the country. Now I did not know that. <laughs> I think I should go like right over here. Yeah, I did not know that. All this time, Ween, it's been you. Fuck. Yeah, man. And uh, I think that, I think your shirt, your 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 flower, your very uh, floral shirt, takes away from the impact of what you've done. Amazon Essentials, dude, six dollars. Let's go. <laughs> okay, exactly. Made in so, China. And you know what though? I watched the fights, and I also watched some of I watched some of Alicia's fights. I watched um, in in Evicta. She she's she's not she's not fucking around. She's legit. Uh, she's legit. And she's, she's legit. She's, she's seven and two, and her her one loss from the split decision, uh, one of her losses. The other one, she just got caught in the second round at the end. She was winning that fight. Yeah. So I mean, this guy, she's only twenty four. You know, you forget sometimes how young these kids are. I mean, twenty four. I mean, she's a pro fighter at twenty four and Invicta, and I hope they make the one hundred and five pound division for the UFC. Right. I honestly do. Well, I don't know. UFC's always had a problem with doing that. It's with it's not with the men as much as the women. They, the I, thing is, there's a lot of women. Well, there aren't that many men that are 125. 
I mean, how many guys do you know of her pounds that are like athletes? The lollipop um, guild. What? You know what? You know what? You're wrong for that. <laughs> I mean, there are that many, but there are a lot of girls. I would say there's way more girls that are 105 than there are 145. You know, right. uh, well, or I agree. Almost I agree. as much. Um, so uh, yeah. Now let's see, Vince. I th I'm trying to get Vince uh, to come on. I'll try to ask that he always has a problem with Zoom. Just an angry guy right now. So let's talk about some of the fights right now. That <laughs> no, I know. I saw some of his interviews. He don't give a fuck. He's, so first, yeah, he's no, we're gonna, I, I love Vince. So uh, Masvidal you versus Usman. We called it. We said we that hear was you. gonna happen. Vince, you can I, hear me? Yeah, my video's not working though. I don't know why. Don't you have like a whole setup? Yeah. Uh, I think it's, fuck, I don't know. Hold on a second. Let me see something. Yeah. Go ahead, keep going. All right, Masvidal versus Usman. Uh, that went exactly how we thought it was going to go. Uh, yeah. Usman's wrestling it was completely dominant. Um, there he is. Masvidal, I think, had a oh, good strategy go. of just go fucking nuts in the first round, throw crazy angle punches, maybe catch him. And, I, and he almost seemed to rock Usman. A, a time. Usman was a little surprised because Masvidal is usually a pretty slow starter. Um, yeah. He but, did rock him. He drilled him in the first round and the second round. He got him. He drilled him first round and second round. And so I just thought Masvidal doesn't have enough training camp for a fucking gas yeah. tank. That was it. No. So now the question is, what happens now? Now, yesterday I brought up that I think that Colby should fight Nate Diaz. I think that'll be a great fight for Colby. It'll get everyone will watch it. Just the press conference alone will be insane. Right. Um, and hey, fuck you, bro. What's up? You want to fight, bro? Like, I mean, Stockton versus the White House, basically. <laughs> um, and Gilbert Burns fights uh, Usman, and the winners fight each other. Uh, I, think that's, I think that's what should happen. No, 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 no. Are you serious? I think that I honestly do think that um, he needs that they should have a legitimate fight. A le him and Usman should have a legitimate fight. Uh, a, a full training camp that's focused on fighting Usman. Now, I mean, well, I think he did. That, he can't six days. Fight. I know, I know, I know. Are you talking about was... Yeah. Six days, man? Come on, man. He needs a full training camp. I you saw him going down. It was, clear, it was clear in the fight that he didn't have a full training camp, but look how well he did against Usman. I think he beats Usman in a full training camp. You think so? I mean, he says he has the secret recipe to beat him, but at the same time, do you think his wrestling – is going to catch up to Usman's? I mean, or is wrestling takedown defense? Because it seems like it was yeah. a very boring fight. People were booing. People were angry. Twitter fuck was them. angry. Fuck them. I mean, yeah, fuck, fuck them. Yeah. But, uh, but fights have to make sense. Are people going to want to play? He stuffed, he, stuffed, he stuffed them initially, but then his gas tank. It's, it is definitely, I think, I, I was frustrated because I was like, you could see that he needed that full training camp. You could see it. Of course you could. Of course, but he also it, it made 1.3 million views. He got rich off the fucking thing. He made it. He he got all kinds. I think pay per view points on it, and but people aren't dying to see it again. That's the problem, Vince. Who are you talking to? Are you talking to yourself? What's going on, Vince Michelle? Are you, are you on two different podcasts right now? But this is, <laughs> He's talking to Elwani. Who are you talking to? What, dude, get that, dude. Unmute yourself. Oh, dude. Fuck! I didn't realize I was muted. Uh, yeah. I was talking to you this whole time, but I was. Oh. Yeah, I was Dude, anytime he has to say the N word, he just has to mute himself. That's what. Well, that's what's going on. What were you saying? Oh, yeah. yeah, that was. <laughs> now, Vince. Before we get more into fighting, okay, you seem very. I know you trained today, so maybe you got it out of your system. Mm -hmm. But yesterday, you were threatening to murder somebody on Twitter. You can't. Yeah, do that. Newsom. Fuck Newsom. If oh. I ever see him in real life, I'm beating his ass, and I'm just gonna get ticket and walk away because of his dumbass own laws. Okay, Vince. You're a professional fighter. I don't want to see you get in trouble, okay? We will edit this out of the podcast if you want. <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't want I don't well, no, want if that's how he feels. If that's I how, how, that's how I feel. Yeah, Fuck, you that. Know, Fuck that. Fuck that communist, bro. Okay so, what, okay, so you think he's a communist for shutting down California right now? The way he's doing it, yes. What There's a way to do it. The, the, what he's doing is he's completely shutting it down. He's ruining the economy. He's ruining more lives than he's helping right now with what he's fucking doing. And he's doing it out of out of lies. He's saying hospitalizations, deaths, and shit are rising, and they're fucking not. There's proof and stats showing that deaths are flatlined. They've been flatlined for almost a fucking month, despite the spike in cases. This motherfucker's saying hospitals are overrun. They're fucking not. Fuck him, dude. He's a piece of shit. Guy's a cocksucker. He deserves well, 
Yeah. While He's Vince eats his applesauce. <laughs> yeah, I think my kid has. Do you saw that for my kid? Hey. <laughs> That, those are for but those kids. are good though, man. Fuck they them. are. They are. Good. No fucks given, dude. No fucks given. Yeah, that is. That is. Those are good. Though. Do you go to the baby section to get that of the of the store? Mm. Costco. Costco. They have a big box of it. You, you, you get like a giant box that'll last you for a while. I got some. Okay, listen. I don't my want favorite to the strawberry ones. The strawberry ones are my favorite. The strawberry ones are the ones that are First of all, <laughs> last. First of all, right this week I was supposed to be hosting the MMA awards. Not hosting, writing for it. That got canceled in Vegas. Uh, or what? postpone that postpone yeah. until October. Why? It's not like there's a fucking live crowd besides the people who were there that do the actual award show. And then, and I know people like um, from seating together and this and that. I was supposed to be headlining Vegas this week. Uh, that at the Strat, that didn't happen. Off the hook. As long, as, long as you can go to the casinos and gamble, right? It's cool. So no. So what do you think the answer should be? Honestly, I think we should just be more responsible with ourselves, right? Like. People that people that want to wear masks, let them wear masks. People that don't, fucking don't. But the the responsibility all falls on ourselves, right? It's our own shitty hygiene that's getting everyone fucking sick. It's no one else's fault, right? No one can blame anyone else for getting COVID besides him fucking self, right? If I get sick, it's because I didn't wear a mask. I'm not gonna go out, but oh, you fucking didn't wear a mask. You got me sick. No, it's my own fucking fault. I'm the idiot that got myself sick, right? And if I fucking die from it, I die from it. But I have no right to tell anyone else how to live their life or blame anyone else for my own fucking mistakes. And that's what's going on right now. People are fucking retarded. What about people that are wearing masks and still getting it? But it's not as high. It's not as high. It's very low. And you know why they're getting it? It's because they're probably touching something that has COVID and they're rubbing their eyes. Or if they're sweating, it's getting any kind of any one of their orifices, right? As long as it gets into your body, whether it be any kind of fucking droplets, sweat, spit, um, um, in the fucking wind. Yeah, come. <laughs> like Joey says, yeah. you can still get sick, right? But the risk of you getting sick and you getting severely sick is so fucking low. And then the risk of you dying from it is even lower. And there's been so much proof about how the numbers are skewed so badly because if you die in a fucking car accident and you, and you test positive for COVID, it's a COVID death. Yeah. What is that? What, how, what kind of bullshit is this? Like, how, how stupid can people be to be like, oh, I'm fucking, I need to wear a mask because it's protecting me? No, because if you fucking shoot yourself in the head and you, and you have COVID, you're a COVID death. That, I, I, that's I, I, the I, dumbest shit I've ever fucking seen in my life for people to believe. Listen, I'm, I'm open to hearing everyone's sides. I fucking hate being inside too. Uh, I, I, I hate it. I'm, a lo I'm losing money and yada, yada. At the same time, you know, I want to err on being safe and I don't want to be responsible mm -hmm. for anybody's death and yada, yada. But I, I understand. Are you able to train during this? Mm, yeah, but I'm having to fucking tiptoe through the tulips for this shit because there's snitches everywhere, right? Uh, what's his name? Newsom's paying people to snitch people now, to snitch people out. So you got to be careful. My gym got snitched out last shutdown. We had to shut down a couple times and we had to like literally fucking go in there at midnight and fucking train with just a select few people who were willing to fucking train. They don't give a fuck about this bullshit. Now you look good. Are, are you, are you have a fight lined up? Um, no, but hopefully soon. I'm trying to fight in August. Um, I, got, I got a lot of anger I need to let out. And I told my manager, Jason, it, depending on who it is, I'll take a short notice fight because I'm 175 pounds right now. So I can cut weight this week and, make, and fight this weekend. The last guy you fought, Roosevelt, fought 17 times since you fought him. Why, why, Jesus is, Christ. why is it everyone that you fight fights 100 times before you get ne your next fight? What's going on? I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. But we also have the same manager now, so I, I must have okay. did something right for, for my manager when I kicked his ass. Is, uh, is it your creepy mustache that people don't want to go near you? Is that what, 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 what is this, by the <laughs> why way? Why you call it a creepy mustache? It's not a creepy mustache. <laughs> he just, just can't grow in his glorious as this. That's <laughs> Honestly, I, I, think, I think the schools are closed in fall, not because of COVID, because of your mustache. People are just like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, that restaurant here got shut down a long time ago, okay? Dude, my, <laughs> my wrestling season's fucked again. School's closed in the fall. They just announced well, it. Uh, yeah, why, that's why are, they shut it down. Except Orange why County. Are, why are schools closed? Not one person under 18 has died from COVID. Not one person. Even been sick and hospitalized because of it. Why? What's the reason? Kids are germ. So, kids are little germ bags, but... But what about all those people that are saying, uh, listen, I was 25, I was, I was healthy, I got COVID, now I've been in the hospital for four months and my life's been hell. They've been, in the hospital four they've been in the hospital four months? I doubt that. I doubt they've been in the hospital four fucking months. Shit. I have, I've known, you know what? I know. With, with the schools, the reason is, is because people, the teachers are more afraid than the students. So mm -hmm. the teachers are afraid because they're older that they'll get it. So why don't we have the kids? Because kids are little germ bags. So why don't really we have are. the kids teach the classes? What do you say we have that, right? We have, have, we, what? have we have the kids teach the classes. 
Oh, come on now. That's, that's not, no, not Now you're tripping. <laughs> you have your fucking head. <laughs> you don't think, like, look, if kids aren't getting it and teachers are, we'll have 10 year olds. Who knows? They'll be great at sports, right? Uh, well, the, the average age of the person that dies from COVID is 78 years old. You know, have, you, have you seen that? You know that? That's, that's I'm, very wor- I'm very worried for Hendo. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, he's, he's American made. He'll survive. Yeah, he'll, he'll be okay. Now, now, do you think this is the plot to get rid of Trump? I think it's part of it, yes. I don't think, I, I don't think it's a hoax, right? I think it's a very serious thing, and people, people are losing their life, right? A very small amount of people are losing their life, and people are getting sick. But I don't think it's, it's been blown way the fuck out of proportion, right? And I think it's been blown out of proportion because of the hate for Trump. Chang? I, no, I think it's a combination of everything. I think it's a combination of his incompetence, his own fucking mouth, the dumb shit he keeps saying, and he does say dumb shit. And yeah. it, it, people get sick of people saying dumb shit and him acting like a pussy sometimes. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want any that. The, and the fact he does this a lot, that's people fucking hate that. Wing dog, does. wing dog, will you, will you red pill Shang? <laughs> no, I don't, I'm not, I'm not the one who wants to like convert people. I want everybody to just have their own opinions and do research for themselves. But you know, I'm not like one of these hardcore, yeah. you know, Republican dudes that are, you know, no, I, no, I don't give a shit about Republican Neither am I. Neither it, but Vince, but Vince, to your point, right? Uh, it seems that a lot of people that we know who are getting COVID, the fighters, Brian Callen, Brandon Schaub, uh, John, John Wood, that they're all like, I'm hexing them. Hey, man, are you okay? They're like, dude, I've been inside for three, four days. I feel fine. Um, they're saying I have a cough or this or that. Some people are getting it and not even knowing it, right? However... A lot of people are getting not knowing. However, my dad's 72 years old. He has a bad heart. He has stents in him. So a guy like, so. I'd recommend him wearing a mask when he goes out in public. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Do you think it's people aren't responsible enough uh, to wear a mask? And so that's why everybody, it's a collective punishment or a collective? No, I think people, I think people aren't being responsible for themselves and they're trying to blame everyone else for something that, that they shouldn't. And like I said, our own, our own sickness and our own hygiene doesn't fall on anyone but our fucking selves. Think about anytime you you get sick, right? You're around people who are sick all the time, and what do you do? Do you are you like, oh no, stay away from you sick? Sometimes you do, but sometimes you don't, right? I for one don't because I have a good immune system, right? So I've like the chick that I'm dating now, she she was like super sick from the flu before English happened, and I'm still kissing her, whatever. I didn't get sick at all, like the, I, I'm I'm that way. So yeah, I, but that's you've been why... in thirty girls, Vince. I mean, your yeah. body <laughs> probably is pretty. Yeah, good. and plus, Vince, you guys look I've at bu- it. I've built up my immunity. But your your immune system's higher than a lot of pe- normal people. Yes, yes, and that's, that's true. Right. You got to give you yeah. say that. So I think that there's not a lot of people walking around with an immune system or athletic, or that's as athletic as you. So, and what that's about why I say people? that's why they should wear a mask, and I support that. But I don't support them trying to tell me how to live my life and tell me I should wear a mask because it protects them. That's bullshit. Like, go fuck yourself. You know what protects yourself? Wearing a mask, washing your fucking hands, not touching your face, not being a piece of shit, right? Not, not being around people who are pieces of shit that are going to cough and sneeze on you. Or so all the, so all the celebrities on Twitter right now who are like, wear a fuck mask. Those, sheep. those guys are sheep too, man. Fuck them. Well, they're all pedophiles anyway. We, you know, listen to them? So the one, they're not all pedophiles. Most of them are. Well, a, good, a good percentage. A good percentage yeah, of them. Man, man, no. all this I know that Tom Hanks, he, been, he tried to touch me when I was little. I don't fucking <laughs> I don't trust that motherfucker. So the people that, on, my the people that on, on Twitter that are like, wear a mask, it's because of you guys not wearing a mask, but that we're shut down for four more months. What would, what would you say to them? They obviously don't know how PPE works. Personal protective equipment works by protecting the person that's wearing. It... it, it and, and I'm going to give you this analogy. Wearing a mask does help spread it out. Yes, it does, right? But guess what? I'm going to give you an analogy. I could use a fucking screwdriver as a hammer, can't I? Yes. And it'll fucking help, won't it? But at what cost? What if I, what if I miss? What if my screwdriver breaks? I can get a fucking sh- a piece in my eye. I can miss and rack my fucking hand, right? So why use a screwdriver for a hammer? Like, that's my logic. And people saying that, oh, you wearing a mask protects me. No, it helps, but ultimately, no, it fucking doesn't. Like, you wearing a mask is going to protect you, and you washing your hands, and you practicing decent fucking hygiene is what's going to protect you, not me wearing a fucking mask. So All people right. can just miss me with their dumb bullshit with that, right? Like, that's, that's here, just at MMA, here at MMA Roasted, we are open to everyone's opinions. Uh, I, I agree with a lot of what you're saying, Vince. Um, I'm skeptical because I don't want you to be wrong and then – you know, another fucking wave happens. Honestly, I'm not, I'm not totally correct. I am, I am partially wrong, right? Because, because masks do help, they do help, they do help slow down the spread of it. They do. I'm not denying that. They do. 
But what I'm saying is you can't, no one, no one has the fucking right, especially in a country where we're all free people, to tell anyone else how to live to their tell life. tell everybody what to, to do, do, but... But the one, I agree with you on a lot of stuff, but I don't agree with you that they're part of it is part of, you know, a, a, a conspiracy against Trump. Trump, if he would just shut the fuck up sometimes and just let other things that he did do good, you know, shine, then maybe then. But he doesn't. He doesn't shut the fuck up. He throws right. racial tensions when he don't need to. Just say, come out and say, hey, guys, maybe we should not fight so much or something. But you're he never does. He, right. also, he right. only goes right. to his base and he doesn't think about you're the president of the fucking country, not just of your red fucking states. That's why I have a problem with him. Because I gave him a chance at first, but he wouldn't shut <laughs> the fuck up. Shut true, up. But, true, but but what about what about <coughs> what about Cuomo who Trump told him, here's a fucking ship. Put your sick on this ship and, and let's let's help this, right? Let's keep us out of this. But Cuomo says, fuck that. He puts the sick in nursing homes. And what does that do? That that killed a lot more people than it fucking yeah, that did, was, right? That was terrible. But that's, that's dumb he shit. Denied help. That's, is. That means Cuomo doing dumb shit. What I'm it saying is. is it doesn't negate the dumb shit that Trump did. What happens a lot of times it is doesn't. people say, well, what about this guy? No, we're talking about you, the shit he did. And the things he did slowed down the process. If he don't start wearing a mask early, all his people would have been like, you know what? Fuck it, wear a mask. So if he if he came out and said, "Listen, wash your hands, motherfuckers. Wash your hands." Yeah, but Shane, what, about what about the rally? Saying what about the rally? Saying what about the rally? What about the rallies that happened? That that couldn't have helped a slow down the spread of this. I mean, all those are. I mean, I understand why people have to march, and I think it's great, but that was not a safe. That didn't help either. It's a clusterfuck. What we do is the people, you know what? We turn this shit into the fucking Hunger Games. Uh, Whoever wins, wins. That's what I want to fucking do because I don't right. want to make it for right. quite right. a while. So back to, I'm right. going to bring I'm it back to here for a minute. I'm going <laughs> to take out I actually people. like this. Vince, by the way, you coughing right now is not helping your cause. Yeah. All right. So, 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 <laughs> Corona. <laughs> no, no. So Colby Covington, uh, he wants to fight. Well, Masvidal said, I'll fight anyone but that punk Colby, right? Maybe he doesn't want to give him money. Uh, maybe he Kobe was beating him in practice. Maybe not. Who knows? Kobe th then today said, "My legacy won't be defined by fighting journeymen like him." Uh, that's what he I said. I think that was bullshit. I think that's a that's a cop out trying not to fight him because it's uh, Masvidal is a high risk for Kobe because Masvidal is a very very good defensive wrestler and Kobe's gonna have a lot of lot of trouble taking him down and Kobe's and Kobe's gonna get lit the fuck up on the feet. He got lit up by Usman. Imagine him fighting Masvidal. Right. Now, who do you think wins? No, a, a full camp, Masvidal. We got to uh -huh. always put that in there because I see, I see people that take fights on short, short notice and it, uh, sometimes biz bang. It worked out. It worked out in a short. But most of them don't do as well because they're fucking gas tank. I just think it was, it was a money grab. Good for him. Got the money. But I think a full camp, it, then I would be like, okay, Usman, you're the shit. I you also think five-round fights on short notice are also really dangerous. I really mean, dangerous, fights, yeah. Five-round fights on short notice is just like... But, but, but think about this. That, even though Masvidal lost, that was still a win for him. He took that on six, six days' notice plus the fight week, whatever. Six days' notice. He did not get finished by Usman. Masvidal still has yet to be finished in, in an MMA fight. Which to me, no, that's a no, fucking he, win. No, he got that's finished by that one Asian guy. That Asian guy that put him out. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, yeah, that's true. Okay, okay. That, that, that was, but, that, uh, but that's, I mean, that, come on. Come that was on, man. Years ago, yeah. I, and it, the fights were good. There was a lot of good fights. But the bottom line is, I just thought, I, that, I saw one of the biggest robberies I thought I've ever seen. Uh, uh, yeah, I, it was a robbery. I'm not, don't get me enough. right. Wrong. I like Volk. Volk is no joke. I like him. But he lost that fucking fight. I agree with you. I totally agree. He lost. He, he was lost getting lit fight. up. Holloway was lighting him up. <laughs> off of those he other cuts. Then he stepped off the gas. The, the he kept off the gas, but he still was hitting with super uppercuts, which I don't know why Bolt wasn't blocking him. I don't know why he wasn't moving to the side. And just, I, he, was, he, was, he was lighting him up, dude. I think he was hurt for the first time ever in a fight. I mean, it looked like he was never really rocked like that before. And uh, now, Vince, you I think I also I also think they lied about uh, <laughs> Volk's uh, reach. I don't, I don't believe he's got a longer reach than Holloway. I, I just don't yeah, How is that even possible? I think they lied on his numbers. <laughs> I think it was bullshit. Holloway, Holloway <laughs> your training camp, Vince. No sparring, no training camp. Uh, it seems like most of your fights, you just fuck. This guy goes to Australia for a fight on a week notice. Doesn't even have a place to stay, Shang. He, he just, he Airbnbs and bees it and walks around looking for a gym. 
And then oh, yeah. that was a month. That was like almost a month before my fight. <laughs> and, then yeah, fight <laughs> and then knocks the guy out in the first round with a check hook. That, that well, I'm gonna tell you why he did that. Because you're an animal, bro. That's yeah. it. That's it. I watched some of your fight. Like he's oh. one of those people. If he gets a choke on you, you're fucking done. Yeah. You're one of those dudes. Like, don't let him get a choke on you because he'll choke the shit out of you. He there's won. there's there's people who are trained fighters there's people who are born fighters i honestly believe i was just a born fighter like i'm a born fighter who's been trained to fight too so that's what, all makes, that's what makes me dangerous <laughs> we are but, all neither. but as far as like sparring and shit like i don't know so there's a lot of people who don't spar in their camps like robbie lawler doesn't spar in his camp hendrix doesn't spar in his camp mainly because he just gets knocked out every time but there's guys who actually don't spar in their camps right and right. i do spar in my camps but i, I spar pretty sparingly and uh, it's only because I, I'd like to starve my body of, of the damage, right? So when it comes fight time, I can take that kind of damage. I'm not beat up and I'm not sore. I'm not fucked up already from sparring hard that, that whole camp. Right, you, know? you didn't break a knuckle or anything. And how do you know that Hendrix hard. got knocked out every time? Is that something you know for a fact? You uh, it's fighter knowledge, yeah. He, 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 he's been dropped almost every time he spars with someone. Hendrix is – there's a reason why he only had that one left hand. It's because that's all he throws and he gets fucking knocked out. Wow. Either now, knocks them out or gets knocked out. <laughs> now, speaking of uh, COVID, Marlon Morass got COVID. Um, ATT guys, man, they're just spreading around like wildfire. Now, he wants is – is Marlon Morass an ATT guy or is he, or is he a uh, – I think he's an ATT guy, isn't he? He's a Florida ATT guy. I thought he was a New Jersey guy with uh, – didn't he train with Frankie Edgar and those I thought guys? He, I thought he was in New Jersey. Oh, is he? Oh, I thought he was an ATT guy. I can check. Well, I, think he he was wants, I, th I think he was training over there or something, wasn't he? Well, he wants to fight Cody No Love in October. I think that would be a good fight. That's a dangerous fight for uh, Cody, though. It is, but you know what? Cody is a very underrated fighter. I honestly think Cody is one of the best bantamweights, but his weakness is his, is his emotional states. He beats himself emotionally before fights. He, he gets inside of his own head a lot. And if he doesn't, you see shit like what he did to Sun Cow. Like he just yeah, but if if, if if he blocks it out, when he blocks it out, he's focused. When he doesn't, yeah. he's all over the fucking place. He's one of those people that's like ah, ah, ah. but when he's like this, he'll fuck you up. <laughs> yeah. No, he is. He's one yes, of oh, man, man, yeah. And then, but he's some people like see some fighters. To me, I feel like they when they do like this and they focus in, it's a wrap. You're done. Yeah, but when they don't, know. they're all over the place. That's why you know what, Conor McGregor gets in people's heads too. And he makes some people flustered that wouldn't normally be flustered. Yeah. Fighting, fighting to me is, is honestly 90% emotional in the fight. All of us are in shape. All of us train. All of us are, are fucking monsters, right? We're in shape. We, we can fight. We, we can handle things. But if you get beaten emotionally, there's only so much you can do. There's only so much you can do if your emotions are beat. But you've never got emotional fight. I've never seen one fight where you got emotional. Uh, that's not true. I have. I just don't show it too well. I, got, I, was, I was a little bit with when I fought Gregor. That kind of got a little bit ahead because so many people were fucking doubting me. My own friends, family, people like that were doubting me. Why are you fighting? You shouldn't do this, yada, yada. And then I'm like, you know, fuck you. I'm going to knock this dude out, right? And even though I had the, all the confidence in myself and, and I, I was planning on knocking him out, like it, it kind of got to me a little bit. And, I, and I, just, I, I made a mistake, right? I made a mistake because I, I started getting pissed off. I made a mistake and he caught me. Now, one of our fans saw you out there and gave you a ton of weed. Oh, yeah, that was amazing. <laughs> you smoked that before the fight or after? No, after. He, he literally showed it to my house with, like, eight blunts, and we just got stoned as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was – I fucking love – I love my fans. <laughs> we, we have the best fans. Now, Bellator is coming back July 24th. Uh, Ooh. Anthony Pettis uh, – no, Sergio Pettis is taking on Ricky Bendejas. Now, He's in, he got cut? Uh, he, yeah, he didn't cut. He left for Bellator. Oh, did he? Wow. Why? What the, why? But, uh, sir, but this guy, Bendeas is the guy that knocked out James Callagher with that, like, Shawn Michaels kick. And then he lost. Oh, like, shit. Three in a row. That's a good fight. That's a, that's a solid fight right there. Um, you think so? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because this, this kid's got really good. And, and Sergio's, uh, his whole style is karate, too. I mean, like, Muay Thai. You know, he's, he's, yeah, he's definitely, he's more Muay Thai, but I mean, he also, he, he, he's good. His range is good. He always, he, he can always get that range on his people. So I think Sergio is pretty much, I, I think I Sergio could be a Bellator champion. Now we have a I girl so. right here joining us. Vince, too bad you have a girlfriend because I, I, I would have tried to set you up with this girl. You can't uh, send me with everybody, dude. You, I, I know he does. But, he I mean, just I whores me up. out. He, he literally whores me out to every girl he knows. But I, I think she's perfect <laughs> for this one because, uh, 
She's at, she's four foot eleven, by the way. She violent. Uh, One hundred and five pounds. She's from Ohio. Started wrestling at five years old. There she is. How cool yeah. was that? And uh, and she made the Olympic. She made the world team, or she tried out the world team, team, or something. I, I'm a little confused by that. Two-time world team qualifier. So what? What is? I don't even know what that even means. But I'm gonna explain that. Alicia, how are you? And she, oh. she and she can't talk, which is even better because you always want. Mike is not connected. Uh, you gotta connect your audio. Connect it, yeah. And she posts these hot pictures of herself, by the way, in lingerie, and uh, oh, she? Uh, yeah, a lot of a lot of a lot of hot. She she's starting to sell herself in a way that like she's like, you know what? I'm hot. Fuck it. Might as well put pictures of myself up. Uh, so a lot of a lot of fans are. Uh, are What's her last name again? <laughs> and, and she could fight, but oh, Alicia yeah. Zapatella. Uh, she's Italian, I believe, with that last name. Uh, Give her a follow right now. Alicia, is your is your audio better? Can you hear me? If you have headphones or something, you can plug in. Um, can't hear. You can't, can't hear. hear. Uh, all right. Twenty four years old. Is that, is that is that too old for you, Vince? Or no? She's kind of young. She's kind of young, honestly. Kind of young. But she's all tatted up. I wanted to add. No, I, I always ask. I wanted to ask you what. Can you hear me of, now? Oh yeah, there it is. yeah, there you go. There cool. go. All right, I was set up for live streaming, first so first I'm gonna change it. I'm 25 actually, but 25, 25 years old. Uh, <laughs> Hold now, on, we're in the car. That, now, what does that mean? You are a world qualifier. What what exactly? What, what does that mean? Oh well, um, I've just I've qualified for world world team trials several times, stuff like that. Wow. Yeah. Now you started wrestling at five years old. I did. did mm -hmm. you know, I got a little daughter. She's two. I want to mm -hmm. get into wrestling. I'm a little young now, but. Was it your idea? Was it your parents? You have older brothers? What happened? It was my idea. So my older brother wrestled, and I was always at the practices. So I just kind of started wrestling. Um, they thought that it was – there was no girls wrestling at that time. So they thought it was kind of cute having me out on the mat, but I just started actually wrestling. You were taking it serious. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and when you got to the high school, were you on the guys' team, or was there a separate yep. girls' team? Oh, no. I, I maybe wrestled, like, two girls in high school – um so i was on the guys team wow like they just they still just put you in a weight class right it's just your weight class you wrestle yeah. in your weight class yeah luckily i was i was small so i was always 106. nice so now how did you how did you do in high school did you qualify at state or did you i did not qualify for state but i did i won 142 maybe matches something like that wow that's a lot of matches yeah. that's pretty yeah good. we actually had the hardest district in the state of ohio so i Came up just short. <laughs> did you? Um, did you? Uh, I like your nickname. That's what I call people that are tinier than me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> did you wrestle in college? Um, I got a scholarship to wrestle in college, but I I like kind of hated college, so I didn't end up finishing that. Got it. Now I watched your last <laughs> fight. First of all, you you're a badass fighter. That was that girl was really good. Uh, that the Van mm -hmm. Zandt girl. Yeah. And you took it to her. You're, it was shot. At, every time she tried to kick you, you came in for that, that single leg and just kept taking her, taking her, taking her down. Um, very you. grappling heavy. Was that, was that the, uh, the, the plan? <laughs> yeah, that was the plan. Um, I, that's kind of what I always do. I out-wrestle everybody that uh, I ever fight. I Fucking mean, jazz. girls don't wrestle, so. <laughs> well, no, because the fight before that, you were, uh, you were just fucking like a little Vanderlei, just pop, 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 pop. I mean, you were just throwing. I've seen you punches. stand up. I've seen yeah. you stand yeah. up with no hands. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think that I got really lethargic being locked in a hotel for four days, so I just kind of went back to wrestling. Got, oh, oh, yeah, because uh, the whole right, the whole, mm -hmm. the whole COVID. Right? Yeah, I couldn't leave my room for twenty four hours. Um, that sucked. Fuck. What? What? They're just twenty four hours just for COVID. Um, after I got COVID tested, I wasn't able to leave the hotel room for 24 hours, and the entire four days that I was there, I was not allowed to leave the hotel at all. Oh, uh, yeah. They don't want you to accidentally run into someone and get it. Huh? Well, first of yeah. all, they had a split decision, which was complete bullshit. Agreed. Uh, you, you won two out of three rounds mm -hmm. easily, possibly mm -hmm. three out of three rounds. She landed one good punch on you that you could say, yeah. all right, how, in a second, I think, how, how, how rocked were you? Um, not too bad. I've I've fought girls who hit a lot harder than her, so it wasn't that bad. Yeah, that little <laughs> girl from uh, Brazil dropped. Yeah, you. she she's a badass. <laughs> but you were winning that fight. I mean, so your only loss was a split decision loss, which you probably could have won, <laughs> and the mm -hmm. one you got rocked, which you were winning until you got dropped. So, yeah. I mean, you're you're right there. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Um, I think that my next fight is going to be a title fight, so that's exciting. Now, that is really exciting. There you go. Uh, I, I, I watched. I went on YouTube and watched uh, watched your fights, and I was like, yeah, she definitely. I wouldn't start no shit with her. <laughs> Thank you. Well, Thank you're you. Too. Like your last fight, you didn't you didn't touch gloves. I don't. I don't touch gloves. <laughs> Never. No. And, and then um, <laughs> so if if like they come in the in the cage and like they like circle the cage and like they like hit my hand, then that's their only chance. Or like if we go into the center, I'll do it there. But as soon as the the um, fight starts, I'm not touching gloves. It's All time right. to fight, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Fuck it, fuck it. Vince, I mean, I'll give them a big old hug afterwards either way, but you know. No, but you also mean mug people after each round. I do. Yeah, <laughs> This chick is mind angry. games, mind games, mind game. Oh, that's what we were talking about earlier. Yep, yep. It gets in their head. They're going, "Oh shit, she, she's, she's gonna kick my ass." No, I gotta, no, I gotta ask you. Some of the these, corner. Some of these white. pictures. Some of these lingerie pictures that you've been posting up. Mm -hmm. uh, is that because <laughs> you're like, man, fuck these bitches. I'm hotter than them. Why are they getting all the likes? Is that what's going on? Um, actually, kind of what's going on is I. Very recently, this COVID has been beautiful for me. I went through like a whole life transformation. I went on a vision quest, all that bullshit. So <laughs> I came out a, just a different person and I want to portray myself as a different person. Um, I've always been kind of like a girl and I want to break out of that. Like sex sells, like being hot, it makes money. So I need to sell it while I can. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be such a horror. I'd be so horish on my Instagram if I was a chick. <laughs> <laughs> that's what every guy yeah, ever tells whore. me <laughs> <laughs> have you got any like inappropriate comments because or like offers from wean dog or something with people have oh all the time i get in-depth emails i get some good money offered to me but it's it's never gonna happen <laughs> everyone's always asking me when are you gonna make an only fans like it's not gonna happen <laughs> yeah, it's just... we don't do that you're too good for that you, you right yeah you're, you're... <laughs> You're a wrestler, you're a champ, you don't need to do that. You, you don't we, should right. do an, we should do an OnlyFans and have it just be training or something like that. Something just so boring for them. <laughs> and then people go, I mean, oh, hey, it. it might still make some money. Who knows? It will. Trust people me. are into it will. that. It will. <laughs> I, no, Adam, I had I always asked two questions. I want to ask Vic and I want to ask Alicia. What's the fight that you said, yo, this shit, I have to dig deep. I, this is, I got to fucking go there. What, can you remember what fight? I, I looked at two fights. Uh, Lindsey Van Zandt and Kelly mm -hmm. D'Angelo, those two. But which which fight would you say that you went there? And then which fight would you say you had to go there? Where like fuck it, I gotta just this guy, this guy or girl is is no joke. He's a beast. I gotta step it up a notch. And you knew it. Um, I would actually say Jillian DeCourcy. So my first fight in Invicta was supposed to be um, against I don't remember who, but she fell out. Um, she pulled out like on a week's notice and. Jillian was one of the only girls on the roster that I didn't send to Shannon. Um, she was a brown belt. She had some stand up. She hadn't lost in like five years. So I was like, you know, we're going to wait on that one. And I told Shannon that I would fight literally anybody that they gave me. And they answered back in an hour with Jillian. So I was like, fuck it. I got to do it. And um, right before I walked, I stepped in the cage, literally had the mindset. I was like, fuck it. Like, she's really good. I have to go in and just give it everything. And I kind of, Take it to her. <laughs> yeah, but when you know that you got to, like, okay, yeah. yep. you get those little jitters you, uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> from hell, <laughs> from hell. <laughs> when, 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 which one was it for you? For me, it was probably, honestly, it was probably Inja Kwani oh, because that it, awesome. in that fight, uh, he broke yeah. my face. He broke my orbital in the first, like, 30 seconds, and I had instant double vision. So the whole time I was fighting him, I, I was fighting, I was fighting, like, two to three black dudes that could have very easily <laughs> knocked the fucking out. <laughs> So, uh, jumped, yeah, yeah I, was, I was basically getting jumped yeah and, and i remember just i remember swinging and like swinging at his face and like fuck that should have hit him but i missed because the person that i saw wasn't actually the one that where he was right and i remember going back to my corner after the first round because this happened the first 30 seconds of the fight and i went back to the corner and i told my coach like i can't fucking see it like something's wrong i can't see my visions that come back he's like fuck it just get a hold of him he's like don't worry about it he's like you're gonna get hit take some shots Get a hold of them and just fucking ragdolls dude around. So That's I basically had to, I basically just had to say fuck it, eat some shots, grab a hold of them and just and just throw them around like I did. And that's what I did. But that fight for me was probably the, the hardest, the one where I had to dig like that and, and the scariest one for me because the whole time I was scared. I was afraid I was gonna get hit by something I wasn't gonna see and just get knocked out, right? And it wasn't because I was afraid to get hurt. Like getting knocked out is whatever. You wake up and you're fine, right? 
I'd rather get knocked out than submit it, honestly. But I was just afraid because I, I couldn't fucking see. And, and at any time, he could have hit me, and I wouldn't even have known. I, I wouldn't have known where it came from because, I, uh, like I said, I couldn't see. A lot of your fights, I get real nervous because you take the girl down and you stay in their guard. And I'm like, don't get triangled. Don't get triangled. <laughs> uh, I, like, I like to use almost any submission attempt as a pass because, like, my jiu-jitsu has evolved so much that, like, I know what they're throwing at me. So I'm just going to stop it. Pass. That's like, um, this time, uh, this last fight, Lin Lindsay, she, like, threw up. I don't remember if it was a triangle or a armbar, and I used it to instantly get right in the side. Good, good, good. Now you got popped for weed. One of your wins. I did. Uh oh. Uh, and that was like your second fight. You beat Stephanie Alba, good fighter. And then you had got popped. How much weed were you smoking? Actually, so long story oh, short, man. I fought in China like right before that um, at a higher weight class. And I came back and I was celebrating everything like that. And I took a short notice fight. I didn't think there would be enough in my system to even be able to like get caught for it. But the thing is, I failed the drug test on 420, so I actually gained some fans from that. <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to fail the drug test, that's the day to fail it. It is, yeah. <laughs> um, now, do you have a boyfriend? Or are you in no. the girls? Or like, is... <laughs> I, I don't have a boyfriend, no. Uh, are you looking for, are you on Bumble? What about the second question? <laughs> I mean, kind of, but like, <laughs> um, I'm not on any dating sites, nothing like that, though. Okay, so uh, is it because, because you're a very pretty girl, you're, you know, a uh, pro athlete, or, or, or is it because you're selective, or you just yeah. haven't found the right one, or you're just, all the guys in Michigan suck? Um, kind of all of them. <laughs> are you stoned uh, right now? What? Are you stoned right now? Not right now. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like she is. <laughs> the light is bright. Right, right. And, like, I can never get it right. So okay, so Vince, you you are you're a single guy. She's a single girl. Let's say you wanted to I'm ask. Not single. Out, okay, <laughs> okay. Let, all right, Wing Dog. Oh, you're none of. Oh, Chang, you're single, right? Oh, you're a little older. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too old. Like, like what? Okay, so say a guy likes you, right? How does he? Yeah. How does he? How does he approach you? Because you're obviously you're strong, you got tattoos, you got one on your chest. Guys might be kind of intimidated by all that. Uh, what does the guy do? I mean, just be real with me. I'm, I might be an intimidating presence. Like, I am really small, but I, I do have a large presence. But I don't know. I'm a really nice person. You just, just got to shoot your shot, I guess. Yeah, just go for it. Quit right. So, so then the guy says to you, like, hey, you want to go on, like, paintball? Or you want to go oh. to, uh, like, what's, what's the ideal first date? Um, anything that isn't dinner and a movie. Worst. Like, so right. boring. It's so boring. <laughs> so like the beach, the walk on the beach, so it might be fun. Or... Literally anything, anything else. Yeah. Right. Go shoot guns. Shooting guns would be a good time. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> pulling swords out, pulling swords out from underneath the mattress. <laughs> have a sword fight. <laughs> I mean, I have, I have a katana, so you just gotta let me know ahead of time. <laughs> Oh my god, you hear that joke? Go shoot the bow and arrows, kill some. Fuck yeah, dude. What's a katana? <laughs> hmm? It's like a samurai sword. Like a samurai yeah. Sword. You, you have a samurai sword? I do. How big is it? You got a two foot one or you got a six foot one? Um, I don't know. Or what are you, a fucking know. expert? What, what, what's going on here? This I, is I, I used well, to, okay, I, I mean, it's I, not I, a six foot I, one because it's not like fucking huge. So I would say a two foot one. Two different kind. Oh, why do you there's, guys? Are, why are you an ones, expert uh, on samurai swords, Vince? You fucking weirdo! What is this? I I had I had I I had a set of samurai swords one time. I had a little two foot. I had a four foot, and then I had a long curved six foot one for 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 actual samurai fighting for sword fighting. I would say it's a four foot one. Shang, is, is is this normal to you? Yes. Oh, uh, you have a samurai sword also? I had. I don't have any more because every I, guy has a samurai sword phase I in their had. life. I, no, I, <laughs> I went every over guy. I was, went okay, over dude. I said, chop trees in my shell. Yeah. I went overseas, and, they, and, and when I was, uh, when Master Go asked me to get him something, and I got it for him. So when I went back to class, I gave it to him, and he was like, oh, that was so cool. So no, that's the only reason. Are you a fucking Ninja Turtle? I mean, what is it? Master Go. No, Master Go. I You're not? <laughs> no, Master Go and Master Kim. It's the most stereotypical. Master Go and Master Kim were at the teach type that, that were teaching me Taekwondo. And they're right, they were up on Fairfax and uh, Sun, uh, Hollywood Boulevard, right down from the Lab Factory. Right. Yeah. 
And then you brought him back samurai. So you got through customs with this? I went overseas. I went overseas. No, it was a, it was a gift. It, like it was in a box. It was beautiful. Yeah. All right. So Alicia, you shoot guns. What are you saying? I do. I shoot guns. I do a lot of stuff actually. I throw knives. I'm good with throwing tomahawks too, and throwing stars. <laughs> Ooh, I, I kind of do stars. everything. <laughs> wait, wait, fucking Chinese stars you throw? Fuck yeah. Who do you throw them at? Uh, at a target. <laughs> If anybody I, breaks into my house and I don't have my gun, I guess I'll throw it at them. <laughs> All right. Whoever runs okay. the fastest. You live, you, live by your, you live by yourself in Michigan. Do you, yeah. have, a, do you have a day job or? Uh, yeah, I work with uh, um, special needs students at an elementary school. Oh, oh well, it's cool. good to know that our teachers have samurai swords and fucking. Yeah, yeah just in case the kids, <laughs> the kids also, are safe. The kids are safe, don't a, worry. <laughs> the kids are safe, you know? <laughs> I also run um, a wrestling club out here, oh, too. That's awesome. Nice. All right. Okay. Where are you from? Yeah. I'm from Ohio, but I live in Michigan at the moment. Oh, okay. Wow. I, I, that's pretty cool. That, that, like, you're, you're very feminine, but you still like to throw swords and knives and knives, you know, yeah. get up and you could she's fight. Very, she's very girly, but she'll fuck you up with a ninja star. I feel like, this, yeah. every, I feel like this is every catfish on fucking a dating app. Like, <laughs> like a hot chick. <laughs> knives and samurai swords and this and that. You get, you get the, I've had that. I've had people send me screenshots of people using my pictures to like catfish before. Oh, oh man. Really? I hate when that happens. I wouldn't doubt that. <laughs> <laughs> what someone used your picture Joe? Yeah I mean look at me. <laughs> with the, with the sexy sword. as hell dude. It's oh, it's, it's it's the button up shirt nothing underneath <laughs> open all Steven Seagal like. <laughs> no. Now Shane she's 25 that's too young for you right? Uh, who, me? Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah. Man, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you got to have somebody 50, 40 something, right? That's. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> 40. Yeah. That's my range right there. Dude, my wife is 30, and I still have no idea what she's talking about half the time. Like, I, I just can't, like. Uh, hey, how's it going? Does your wife ever go, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, yeah, Adam is getting robbed right now. How are you? He's, I about, know, to, he's about to get beat right now. <laughs> No, I no. The other thing when we were going to talk about the fight, the, 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 we were going to talk about the show today. I'm telling you, I was so mad after the fight, watching the fights, not with Masvidal. I just felt like both got a gift, and I don't know why you acted. You're acting like, yeah, it's okay. It's not, man. It, no, it wasn't okay, it was but it was bullshit. not. It was not one of the worst robberies. Not even top thirty. Dude. Not one of the worst, but uh, it's up there. There's been yeah, way worse robberies. Um, that was for a fucking belt, man. I. I, I that's why judges judges should be like referees. They should have some sort of martial arts training experience. They should know what the fuck they're watching. They should know what they're looking at. And when yeah. the ones that don't, you get shit like this happening, and it's, and it's bullshit. Like I feel bad for Max because he won that fight, no doubt, won that fight. Not even not even a split decision. That was a he won that three to two. Yeah, right? I, agree. <clears throat> I agree. I'll tell you who looked good was Rose Namajunas. Yes, that was a good fight. She Rose that, her, her eye looked like a bunion, but I'm telling yeah, you. That, to me, I, I was a little worried at the end. I was like, fuck, this could go either way. Because at the end, Andrade started doing some real damage, right? Even though Rose was kind of still picking her shots on her. She was doing some real damage, kind of getting better of her. So I was like, fuck, which way is this going to go? I have no idea. I know. Her eye was so black, fucking Karen called the cops on it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Great bitch. Did you see Pat Berry's video in the hospital when he's like with her in the hospital? He's like fucking with her. Those two are so funny. I love them together. They are. They're, they're a cool couple. They are. They're uh, an awesome couple. Yeah, you know what it was? It, I mean, she she she's another person that knows how to use her length. She knows how to, you know, she knows how to throw hands. She, her boxing, yo, her boxing. She can box, man. Yes. She's her a very intelligent fighter. Serious. She's a very I think that the main fighter. thing, though, that you know, if she would have, she didn't really fade, but towards the end, she was getting lit up, though. Let's yeah. be real. She if, was, getting, if it was a five-round fight, she might have been fucked in a five-round fight. If it was a five-rounder. Yeah, um, possibly, yeah, because Andrade is a slow starter, and, and I think Andrade was starting to realize if I just say, fuck it, get hit and throw some bombs, I'm actually connecting with her. Right. So, tomorrow, so tomorrow night, we got Calvin Guitar versus Dan EJ. Uh, Alicia, who do you like in that fight? Who, is, who was it? Uh, Calvin Guitar oh, versus Dan EJ in, in the UFC. I actually don't know either one of those guys. Awesome. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't pay attention to, like, a shit ton of the guys' divisions. I try to focus on, like, people that I'm fighting. Yes. But I will say Rose is my girl. I really love her. 
Yeah, yeah, she's 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 legit. Uh, Vince, who do you like in that fight? That's a really hard one, but I'm gonna have to go Dan. I think uh, Calvin Guitar. I think Calvin's got the better striking. I think he's more technical of a striker, but I think Dan is a better all-around fighter, and I think he's gonna impose more of his will upon uh, Guitar. But Dan, 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 I don't know. I don't think Dan can stand with him. Honestly, I think just I don't think he can yeah. stand. Yeah. I don't, I don't really think so either. He's gonna have a problem. I think he's gonna get. Whether he's an all-around fighter, I'm telling you that dude, that dude, those hands like he he he, he goes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Well, Wean Dog, you. This entire fight depends on Calvin Guitar's takedown defense because we know Dan EJ or EJ is a savage on the ground. So if Calvin can keep this standing, he's gonna take it away. And right now he's a minus three fifteen. Uh, favorite Calvin is and Dan wow. Ige is a plus 245 so if you guys are so confident with Dan just go I mean that's a good bet, uh, bet to make dude yeah but no but if it stays on the feet man no what are you talking about if it stays on the feet, it's yeah. not if, if Dan can't take him down he's gonna be in a lot of trouble he's gonna be in a lot of trouble exactly that's what I'm saying yeah oh okay yeah I have, I have Qatar oh, winning this fight some, Qatar. I like watch some fighters that I think that they know they don't want to get in a firefight with somebody standing and that's the smart thing to do like like if you're re if you're a wrestler, to me, if you're a wrestler, you should wrestle the shit out of people. Yeah, of course. That's Period. what that's what Alicia yeah. does. Fuck um, your ego and trying to look. Like, Let me stand up with him. No. Yeah, fuck. I've I've learned that recently because uh, I've had fights in the past where I try to strike with people and I'm like, oh, I can do all of it. No, I just need to fucking wrestle somebody because nobody they can't. I can. Now, uh, and it's more dominant. Your fellow Michigan guy, Cody Stamen. You know him? Yep. He's fighting tomorrow against Jimmy Rivera. Rivera. Jimmy Rivera is a guy who um, he was like 21 and 1 at one point. And then he kind of ran into some. He got knocked out by Marlon Morass quickly, but he's a really good fighter, uh, underrated fighter. It should be a good fight. Uh, Cody, fought on that card. Cody recently lost his brother. Um, you know. Yeah, when Jimmy fought Marias, I was on that card. I fought. I fought that juiced up Brazilian fucking. Uh, what was his name? Silva. Joaquin yeah, Silva. Yeah, that was when you gave me the shout out afterwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, hey, that dude was on. That dude was. That dude had steroids coursed through his fucking veins. Yeah, he, I, I, the only oh. thing he didn't have is horse hooves. He was <laughs> for real, man. Man, that dude was <laughs> veins all in his neck. What are you? Well, I think Brazil. Even, <laughs> I mean, I think in Brazil, it, it's like more dishonor if you lose than than if you win by cheating. Yeah, uh, but they, oh yeah, for sure, one hundred percent. A lot of people in Brazil juice up. I'm telling you, they. And, but that's a kind of a normal thing for them. And I just think it's bullshit. I really do. And you saw that. You saw that's honestly afraid to test Brazilians because in Brazil there's no fucking law. And if you saw a test of Brazilian and the Brazilian pops, that you saw the agents, he he might get killed. Yeah. 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 I know they knock on your door to to you know they're not gonna answer the door. Mm -hmm. um, so who who wins that fight? Jimmy Rivera or Cody Stamen? Alicia. Um. You know. I would say Rivera, but Stamen always finds a way to fucking make it happen. Um, he's not my favorite fighter ever. He is pretty sloppy, and but he gets it done. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go with Rivera though. That's right. so difficult Vince? for you. Like, oh, I don't know. Vince, yeah. did you guys hook up or something? It seemed like you guys hooked up. No, oh. no. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> he's actually at the PI right now. I seen him at the PI. Vince, are you still with us? Are you are, are you yeah, on your vision quest right with her? Yeah, I feel like you just whatever whatever I feel like whatever she's on is like went into your box too. Uh, <laughs> who wins this fight, Cody or Jimmy? I don't have a box. Um, I don't, I kind of honestly want to go Stamen. I really like Rivera, but I, what, what Rivera's going to show up? You know. Got it. Got it. I'm going. I'm going Stamen. I'm going Stamen. He's hungry. He's got a lot of momentum right now, and uh, yeah, I want to go Stamen. So Saturday, uh, Benavidez versus Fig uh, Figuera. They're having a rematch. I don't even know why, to be honest. I thought Figuera won pretty decisively in the first one. It was a close, but I guess there was a, there was, there was a headbutt. And I think the UFC is kind of doing Benavidez a favor. They like him. They like his, his, his wife. And he's a good guy. But I just – I don't see this fight going very differently than the first. You don't – but the headbutt was, you know – It was significant. It's significant. Um, so if you get headbutted and that changed the fight around, it's like – that ain't really, you didn't really, that is not really it, dude. Like, yeah, but it wasn't an intention. If you hit me with your hands, I go, fuck it, you got me. But if you do, if you headbutt, it's different, dude. I get it, I get it. But also on this card is Jack Hermanson versus Kelvin Gastelum. Uh, that's the fight 
That's the one you want to fuck. Yeah. Wait, who? Who's Jack who? Hermanson versus Kelvin Gastelum. Who the fuck is Jack Hermanson? Jack Hermanson's the guy that beat Jacare. Uh, he um he's from I think he's from Sweden or something or, or Denmark. Uh, he's a good fighter. He's a very good fighter. Uh, but but, but Kelvin looks good. Wait, is this on the same card? No, oh, he's Swedish Norwegian. Is this uh, on the same card? Yeah, it's on the same. It's, it's on Saturday. It's a Saturday night. Saturday night. Saturday night. I don't. Even, I don't even I don't even see them on the roster. Uh, he's he, the co he, he he lost to the Vanilla uh, Gorilla, Jared Conier, his last fight. Uh, he got knocked out in the second round. Oh. But he beat but he beat Jacare. He beat David Branch. He beat Gerald Mershart. He beat Talos Latis. All before that. Well, so, Calvin, this is it. If the Calvin's gonna win this, Calvin looks too good. I I just wish he would make 170. So we have a a, a legend, a UFC Hall of Famer with us, Alicia. This guy probably was the inspiration for why you were born, okay? Because your mom got so turned <laughs> on by watching this guy fight. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. This guy is 100% man, okay? Uh, All right. Don Fry. You ever heard of Don Fry? Mm-hmm. Don oh, Fry. Oh, shit. Right uh, he, this guy makes... Let me see that stash, Fry. Let me see that stash. Look at it. Look at his stash. <laughs> Don Fry, how are you, man? Can't he can't you. figure out technology yet, okay? <laughs> but he's working on it. <laughs> You sound great. Don <laughs> 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 just went out. It just Don, Don's he's too much man for a Zoom. And I, <laughs> his, 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 Zoom his Zoom just tested positive for testosterone. Uh, Don, how are you? <laughs> All right, now he's frozen. This is a great oh. fucking podcast. Look at that. Look at that. I, 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 I give up. Don, he's gone. All right, gone. that was Don Fry, everybody. Don Fry, great interview. Don, so how are you, man? He's got bad reception right now. Can you hear me? Don. Alicia, will you show some of your pictures? He might get excited. Uh, uh, <laughs> he might stroke out, too. Be careful. <laughs> Don, how are you? Can you hear me? He's, he's walking around. He's actually not even in his house. He's in some house. <laughs> he's, he's, he's in somebody else's house. He doesn't know where he is. What are you going to There ain't shit you could do. Now he's all red. This guy, this guy just bleeds red. Fucking right there. He's actually bleeding. That's actually blood. Uh, it's someone else's blood. He just, he just murdered the family. Because <laughs> yeah, it, it, What the fuck is going he's on? He's older, but he's still be like, I don't do it. I want to do what I want to do it. All right. Don Fry's gone. All right. So, uh, Damn. all right. Also on this card is Mark Diakisi. He's the guy that threw the fireball that one time, the black guy with the blonde hair. That Yeah, I know you. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then this guy, Askar Askarov, who's 11 0 1. He's got a win over Tim Elliott. Uh, girl, you might know. Lauren Carolina, you know her? No, I don't know her. Oh, she's fighting Adriana Lapisky. You know her? No, no, but I do know who. I was going to say that Askar was going to win the one before that, though. So. Oh, you, you not know that guy? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me about him. Um, I've watched him fight a couple of times. I know he has a lot of momentum. I obviously know his name, so. Okay, good. I, well, I, I, I went in, okay, so I went in the Tim Elliott fight, wanting Tim Elliott to win, and then, yeah. Ah, got it, got it, yes, yes. Tim Elliott is fighting on tomorrow. He's on a three-fight losing streak, but still got a UFC extension contract. I he have him as the co-main against uh, Ryan Benoit. Yeah, that's a good fight. Gaslam. No, no, Gaslam's fighting Saturday. Uh, oh, yeah, that's okay. it's fight Saturday. The one tomorrow, the one for Wednesday. That's for tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, okay, I'm, I like, I'm all right, up. all right. Don Fry is back, dude. He was he was out. He got laid out by Zoom. Now he's back, connecting the audio. Don, how are you? Don, can you hear us? Don, Don, come in, Don. Oh, Don. Damn it, Don, will you come hey. on, man? Are hey. you I fucking my mustache, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Alicia, want to ride? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> he's gone again. Sean, where'd you go? Oh, All right. No, man, he's not, he's not, it's not connecting. Someone I'm going to buy him an Uber to the local Starbucks. So he's going to their Wi-Fi. Ever. He's just got, he's just got bad reception right now. Is what's up. Yeah, it's wherever he's walking, it keeps dropping out because he was clear at first. All right. So, uh. Uh, also on Saturday, um, who else is on this? Uh, Don's back. Don, are you, can you hear us? Don, can you talk? Hello? Don. <laughs> He's looking. Why is he holding the phone like Don by his face? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Don. He's gone again. All right, this is. 
Uh, I, hope I hope I'm not being used and abused by him right now. <laughs> Sorry, Alicia. Hey, I, feel like, I feel like I'm being abused. <laughs> <laughs> also, Montel Jackson's fighting Brett John Saturday. You know, you know that guy's Montel Jackson is a really good fighter. Brett Johns is a guy who's always in a fight. He's from Wales. He was like the king of Wales. Or something. Yeah, but it, it, he's more of a like a almost a brawler too. He's the, totally a brawler. He, he's a brawler, but I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now <laughs> that ain't gonna work. He's getting his ass kicked. <laughs> He's going, all he's going to do is just step to the side and he's going to tag him, man. I just don't think that brawling style won't work with this dude. I'm telling and you. And then next week, we got Darren Till versus Robert Whitaker. Ooh. Alicia, I, I know who that fight. give it to. I already, I already know who got Till? it. Over Whitaker? Whitaker? Really? Over Whitaker? You know why Whitaker? Sometimes we're like, like whatever. You know? Because you think he's cuter? Is that what's going on? <laughs> no. It's the accent. Not my type. Sorry. It's the accent. No, got it, got it, got it. Yes. Uh, all right, Don Farr, are you back? Can you hear us, Don? Hello. Now, what was he doing? Fuck. <laughs> he, was just, he was just drinking so <laughs> angrily right there. <laughs> Don, can you hold on? Let me see if he can actually just talk. Don, yeah, Don, I mean, if he can you just end no, and then no, just no. call in. Like without yeah. the video, Wayne, Wayne, you understand why I'm saying Whitaker has something to prove because of uh, you know coming back. And Till, Till, I don't know. I think that Whitaker could, you know, keep the I feel like Till has something to prove, too. That's, Whitaker's more still. I, I still go Whitaker on that. I still go Whitaker on that, though. Yeah. Whitaker. Sometimes when you have stuff shit to prove, I Don, think. Can you hear us? I, I know that I, I was in the Washington State Finals, and I was getting my ass kicked. I was getting just mopped. And something about hey, watching uh, my pops in the no. stands made me matter. And that made me <laughs> No, my pops wife looking at me like I spent all this money on these fucking players. Like, and it made me, it made me matters, which actually motivated. Does that make sense? What I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, here's the deal. Here's the deal. I think Whitaker is a better fighter all around. He's got more skills than Darren Till. Darren Till probably hits harder than Whitaker. Um, it's a, it's a matter of is Whitaker's head right because his last fight against Israel Adesanya, that was not the same Robert Whitaker that was dominating everybody. Right. And, he he, and he said he was depressed. Uh, he was like suicidal. He had some. Right. He had, he had an issue. But so, you can't take anything away from Stylebender. Stylebender just, he, he kept adjusting. He kept moving. He kept sweet. He kept slipping it and he was slipping on him and just tagging him. So I was just like, yeah. Stylebender's no fucking joke, bro. I thought he was, I thought he was going to be like a, like a flash in the pan. And I was kind of dissing him. I was. Don, so Don, you hear us? Yeah, I'm here. All right, Don. There we go. Oh, man, we, you kept dropping in and out, man. Uh, how you yeah, doing, Don Fry? I don't know what the hell was going on, but I, I can see your beautiful face, Adam. I couldn't hear anything. And oh, no I problem. You, but I can't see you. you gotta forget about my face. Look at this beautiful face right here. Look at this. That's the face <laughs> hey, Don. I can't, I, I can't see anything right now. You not? I don't oh, know, oh, oh, yeah. Because he's just calling in. He's on the phone. <laughs> oh, yeah. yep. So Sorry, you can leave that up. Okay, so Don, how do we? Okay, you've beaten everything. You're you're, you're a man of the of the people. How do we beat this lockdown of the coronavirus? How do what what should we do? Well, face it head on, like anything else. We're Americans, we're U.S. fucking a. You know, don't <laughs> we don't hide and shelter in place. That's for pussies. You know, we we fucking walk out there, we punch them in the nose and kick them in the balls. Goddamn right, Fry. So we're gonna kick the we're gonna kick, kick the kick the virus in the nose and <laughs> the balls in the balls. Yeah. Balls. He said balls, not nose. Okay. Balls. Yeah. The virus um, ball. Kick it right in the virus ball. <laughs> <laughs> now, how are you doing with this? How are you feeling? Are, are you getting exercise? Are you are you how how are you doing personally? <laughs> Shit, darling. If you could see me, you you, you know you drop your drink in the direction. You know I'm so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> getting an erection and how's your how's your girlfriend is she uh holding up well my sometimes girlfriend sometimes yeah, she's so nasty sometimes she's not <laughs> <laughs> that's all that's all women though ain't it that's all women <laughs> sometimes they're good sometimes now don you think trump's gonna win in november hell yeah hell yeah god bless donald trump i love trump the only way he's gonna lose is if, you know, there's some the uh, Democrats get a bunch of dead people to vote again, you know? <laughs> or cats, dead cats. cats. <laughs> All right, now. Uh, oh, fuck? 
<laughs> no, I always thought that uh, one, of the, one of my favorite fights was you versus Tank Abbott. Uh, who wins, by the way, a prime Tank Abbott or a prime Brock Lesnar? Oh, fuck Brock Lesnar. He's a, he's a freak of nature, you know. He's a, he's a fantastic athlete. You know, he really is. I mean, he, he shoots it. You know, in you know, the first three seconds. Okay, so prime, Brock. so prime Brock wins that fight. Yeah, absolutely. I don't think he's ever been had a prime, has he? No, I, I, I mean no. I mean, well, I fought him. When, when I fought him, he was. When I fought him, you know, they were training with Jesse Reed. They they had him juiced up to bench press six hundred pounds. So I'd say that was his prime, you know. Fuck. Yeah. And you know, and I won. Yeah, and that's well. You won because you were the you were the best. I mean, you you won you won the ultimate ultimate. I mean, you ran through everybody. That's right. except for, you, except for, you, had, you have the highlight reel of highlight reels when you fought Yashiro. You no, just yeah. Takiyama. Can we play that? Yeah. Takiyama, Takai, Takiyama. Yeah, you just fucking. You said, "All right, you want to fight? Let's go!" And you just you just blast. I mean, we're, we're actually gonna watch some of that fight right now with Don Fry because this probably. Alicia, have you ever seen this fight? I have, actually. This was what I mean, look at this. Look at this man right here. This guy. Now, was this the game plan, Don? No, God bless him, you know. Um, you know we went out there, and we <laughs> hit each other a couple of times, and we just grabbed each other by the scruff of the neck and went to throwing. Now, at what point did you know that you were going to break him? Oh, fuck. You know, I didn't until it happened. Cause I'll tell you what, partner. I was punching him and hitting him with everything I had. I was like, God damn, what's it take to put this guy down? You know. <laughs> well, he's a he's a biggin. Number one, he's a he's a he's a mutant. And I think that once you grabbed him behind the neck, I felt like he didn't have as much of a chance. Well, once he tried to lateral drop you, I think it was over. That was a that was a mistake he made. Uh, I don't know what he was thinking there. Uh, I mean, he probably was thinking, stop punching me in the head. <laughs> uh, another fight, Wean Dog. Uh, could you put up that Thomas Ramirez fight? Because this fight, yeah. this guy was 410 pounds. Uh, you're looking across a guy who's 410 that pounds. Guy that's just a monster? No, that, not that guy. This guy looked like he was, I, don't, I mean, what were you thinking during this fight? Don. He was right. there just now. This guy's 400 oh, pounds. Guy. And that guy's 400 pounds? Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't look it. <laughs> he knows he looks unconscious. That's what the point yeah. is. <laughs> I think I take a little nap. <laughs> <laughs> he, definitely, he, he definitely napped him. Well, fucking, well, uh, Fry left. Uh, he didn't show up for a lot of his fights, too. Um, but, uh, <laughs> no. oh, so you're going to, you yeah. know what? You're going to hell. I mean, 410 pounds. That's fucking crazy. That's yeah. a big boy. That's that's a big yeah, man. that don't mean shit. Like, it, it, means, it means something. If a guy gets color, on top of you and just lays there and wiggles, but other than that... Don't you kind of oh. wish that heavyweight still yeah. was unlimited? 410 pounds, but he didn't have a glorious mustache. <laughs> that's, I, that's, where the, now, that's where the power comes from. Now, Vince, do you think that if heavyweight was still unlimited, there'd be a champ that was 410 pounds now? Fuck or, no. Fuck no. no. That, that that was back and no. It would still be 270, 260, 250? I don't maybe not even that big, honestly, because guys that are that big have a lot of trouble with guys who are a little smaller, right? I guess as heavyweight, I think the best weight for heavyweight is probably around 240, 250, probably. I would say in that range is probably like the perfect heavyweight size, regardless of how much bigger the other guy is. Because the bigger you are, the more weight you gotta carry around, right? And and a guy that's a guy smaller is always gonna have a little more mobility, a little more quickness on you. And, yes, and he's, gonna, he's, and he's yeah. gonna have the strength to fight with you, so it's it's a big disadvantage having any more weight than that, honestly, to me. Alicia, wh how much weight do you cut? Um, I usually cut about fifteen pounds from like the beginning of cut of camp to like the end of camp. Um, water weight usually about six pounds, maybe seven. What was it like fighting in uh, Japan? Because you fought in uh, Ryzen. Mm -hmm. Um, it was absolutely amazing fighting in Japan. Uh, the fans are fantastic. They like treat me like I was a celebrity. It's completely different than it is here. Um, I, I don't know. It was, it was awesome. It, yeah. No, you've had a crazy great. Really cool. I honestly, I honestly think I'm hoping the UFC makes a 105 pound division because, <laughs> um, like 
like I was telling before, I think there are more girls that are 105 than there are 145, right? I think so, yeah. Um, the only thing that people complain about is there are not enough knockouts in 105. Is that true? Um, yeah, that's pretty true. But like the fights are always really high paced and like fast. And I don't know, I think that there's a lot of action going on. So I think that it could sell a lot of tickets as well as like they're always, they're pretty attractive girls. So like people will watch. Vince, what do you think? I think she does have a lot of lingerie pictures on her IG. <laughs> No, but do you think this should be like, <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 yeah, that's about And we know, like, goddamn right. That's what do you why think about the 105 pound division, though? You think they should be making one for the UFC? Uh, for women, why not? Right? I mean, there's enough girls out there. And I think more girls can relate to a girl that's 105 watching it than they mm -hmm. can to a girl that's 145. And, and no, to be honest, really. girl, a lot of girls are naturally smaller anyway, so to, mm -hmm. to force them to fight at a bigger weight class is a big disadvantage for them. Um, let them fight at their natural weight class. All right. Yeah, mm -hmm. let them fight their natural weight class. I, I think it would be good. As far as guys, uh, maybe, maybe not. Because no, I feel no, like not 105 guys. pound guys. No, I mean, yeah, like, because, three yeah, guys. because for, for guys, they expect, they expect more of us, right? They expect knockouts. Mm -hmm. They expect that kind of shit. And at 105, there's just not that kind of power. Mm -hmm. But um, for girls, I think, I think any, it'd be Any more awesome. tattoos, Alicia? What? Any, any any more tats? Um, I just got four new ones. Yeah. <laughs> Where? You got four? Yeah, I did. Um, I have a sponsor who he tattoos me after every fight. Um, I just got a butterfly in my hand, and then like I don't know if you guys are into Viking shit, but like a rune, and then I had a rose up here that looked like a fucking vagina, honestly, and we had to we had to fix it. <laughs> um, yeah, but then I got a big old <laughs> tattoo right here of a. Uh, Shiva, he's like the destroyer yeah. of everything, and he dances on the graves of his of his enemies. Yeah, you can't have a vagina on your shoulder. No, <laughs> no, we had to we had to turn it into a rose. <laughs> yeah, it into a rose. It's like it's like what is that? A pussy on your shoulder? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shitty rose. <laughs> no, but no, as long as they fixed it. But I was like, wow. Imagine yeah. she's like fighting, like shoulder punching. Like, how's that pussy taste, bitch? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, it was done by a different tattoo. artist than the rest of my work, so I had to fucking match it, you know? Yeah, your next catchphrase, gang. Right. Yeah, you should have a t-shirt saying, you can't have a vagina on your shoulder. You can't have a vagina uh, on your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if you said, throw no shoulder hits. It's like, oh, yeah, do it again. Oh, yeah. Most, again. most people got a chip, I got a vagina. Wait, can I see the shoulder vagina? And I have to see it. It's, it's not a, it's not a no, vagina it's not anymore. Four. It's just It's just a rose now. Eh. Oh, but it, it looked like it was like. I've a seen some did. vaginas that look like that, though. It let's did. be honest. Can we, can we oh, see God. it? Looks like yeah. a vagina? <laughs> You've seen vaginas, wing that look like a rose. <laughs> I used to go down big, deep rabbit holes, dude, on the internet. Oh, you know, God. Just type in any body part followed by the word prolapse, and you'll see some stuff, dude. Yeah, but that means something's wrong with her. If her vagina looks like yeah. a rose, that means she's been ran through by at least a million men. That's yeah. you're jerking off yeah. right now? What are you doing, Vince? What the, <laughs> the fuck are you doing? Dog, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so repulsive with this shit. He's so fucking repulsive. <laughs> with his own form. Anybody part followed by prolapse, you'll see some shit. <laughs> Very embarrassed right now. I'm blushing. No, no, why are you? Why are you? Why are you looking up like body parts with prolapse? Like, what? <laughs> well, you know, if you stay up late on your phone past your bedtime, you just you have you get the need just to see the darkest shit in the world. No, you don't. No, you don't. Well, I mean, some of us do. No, I, there's a point where I go, oh, okay, uh, uh, okay, oh, what is that? That's, no, that's too much. That's all right, all right. Well, Don Fry's good. We got, we got, we got to wrap this up. Don, hey. are you back? I was gonna stop now. I hope. Nice. Fuck yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking love Don Fry. We were showing your fights. When you went, when you dropped out, we were showing your fights. <laughs> we watched the fight, Don. And you knocked out the four hundred ten pound guy, Thomas Ramirez. <laughs> worried at all the guy was so much bigger than you yeah because um you know i, I mccarthy came over i said hey john if i fall down don't let this guy eat me <laughs> <laughs> wait you said, you said to him before the fight 
And yeah, it, right there when he comes over your take your fingernails and shit right there in the corner. And then what did John did John laugh? I don't know. He just shook his head and walked away, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think John Oh my god. I don't know if John has much humor to begin with. Yeah, yeah, yeah of He's course. A cop. Uh, of course. Now you were one of the biggest heels in wrestling in uh in Japan wrestling. You were the bad guy. You probably what's the what is someone's secret to being one of the best bad guys? Hell partner, I wish I knew I'd still be doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think they should be smoking the bandit and let fucking Don Fry be the be the man. Uh, but but uh, but there's so many. That's guys right. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now, but you were also trained by Mr. Perfect, which was fucking awesome. What was he like? What? Yeah, yeah Kurt was a great guy. Yeah, Kurt Hennig. You know, I mean, Brad Reagan's. Uh, they they needed somebody over there in Japan because Ken Shamrock. You know, signed a deal with them, and then or had a deal with them, and then walked away went to WWE, and so they left the hole. You know, so Jeff Blatnick, or uh, yeah, no, wait a second, I'm screwing this up. So Masa Saito calls Brad Reagans, Brad calls Jeff Blatnick, and Jeff Blatnick, God bless him, refers me. You know, but Mr. Perfect was like my favorite guy ever. I mean, he was everything. Really? He did Everything he did was perfect. It was so fucking funny. Well, I mean, was, was, it he was a, Adam wanted a perfect was, flex? Yeah. <laughs> oh, he, dude, he would do shit that would just blow your mind. You know, he, he'd walk in uh, to the bar, grab some darts, and throw bullseye after bullseye, you know, and just laugh about it. And then when they were, they did something with him hitting balls, he was hitting home runs. I mean, geez, you know, he was just doing stuff that was just – phenomenal it was just it was just funny it, you know like the gods the guys are just pulling a prank on, on everybody uh, totally no nah, totally now you, I, I read that you're a second dan black belt in judo now you were you made the olympic team no. of you that's not true i'm a i'm a, I'm a yodon i'm yodon Yodon, okay so no now you make the olympic team yeah. in, in wrestling or you make the olympic qualifiers then you go and you do pro boxing, you knock a guy out in the first round, and then you become a fourth uh, Don in judo. How do you manage all of that at the same time? I had, no, I had eight boxing matches, eight pro boxing matches. They, they had me down for one or two, which is stupid, because here's the deal, you know? All these so-called... Um, Journalists, you know, nobody is an investigative journalist, does the work anymore. I, I won the two fights, and then um, I had a breakup with um, my management. So and they had me signed to a deal. So I fought underneath a different name from that point, and which did me no good because I think I don't think I won a fight <laughs> for six <laughs> fights. You know, I, I went, I, I was, I was two five and one as a pro. Um, the first two were Don Fry, and then the others were J.R. Fry. Because J.R. was my nickname growing up because I was a junior. Got it. Got it. Got it. But was it hard to, like, manage? I still don't understand how you became a, a fourth-degree Dan black belt in judo while wrestling, while doing boxing. That's – I mean, isn't it hard enough to do one of those things at once? No, that – no, that came after. That came after the uh, – wrestling and the boxing you know i got out of wrestling and then um then i went to the did the boxing i did the boxing for about a year and a half you know and a year and a half two years can't remember anymore and then um i got out of sports altogether. you know i had a bad taste from all the nonsense and for about a year i just worked you know i was a i was a farrier or the horseshoer you know and uh then i had a couple other odd jobs i I worked in the psych ward, and um, I got fired because I broke somebody's arm. <laughs> and, uh, uh, Who's the psycho and, now? And I, 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 yeah. yeah. All right, so, so, Don, so, Don, long. so, Don, you've been around the block, right? So, we have this beautiful 25-year-old fighter, Alicia. She's 7-2. and two. Uh, She made the uh, 
Olympic trial, the world team, and not in lingerie like you said earlier in in wrestling. Okay, this, uh, what's your <laughs> what's your what's your advice for this young uh, prodigy? <laughs> you know, uh, make sure you uh, can trust your trainer and your workout partners. You know, and trust the people around you. You know, especially and uh, don't make any don't make any financial decisions for four weeks after a fight, you know? <laughs> don't give anybody any money. Don't loan anybody any money. Don't buy. Don't invest. Don't do anything for four weeks because it takes you that long to go through the process, you know, because, you know, you get a depression after competition. You yeah. go through a depression for a couple of weeks, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Win or lose. Win or lose you do. Because yep. it's, it's like – it's like a boom, boom, you train, 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 boom, you hit the big orgasm, and then boom, you got nothing. You know, yep. it's all quiet. So then you go into a depression, you're like, geez, you know, there's nobody around. I'm not training. And uh, so, yeah, don't make a, a decision for four weeks. Okay. Especially don't loan any money for four weeks. Jeez. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Now, Vince, you can relate to that, right? You, you've been depressed for, what, 27 years? Uh, so. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 a real thing, man. Like after fight depression is a real thing. You, oh, we we yeah. experience such a high, um, yeah. and then afterwards it's kind of just like gone, and, and it just feels like there's a hole, right? There's just a hole there for a little yeah. bit that that you don't know how to fill. And, and yeah, I, it, I completely agree. Like I slept literally all last week. I didn't know what the fuck to do. I like I got home from my fight and like, all right, what now? Like I won, cool. Um, and I'm back training again because I don't know what else to do, I guess. <laughs> yeah, all the, glad, all the glad handers show up, you know, and pat you on the back. Yeah. And then they got their hand on your wallet, you know. You know, leave my fucking money alone. Now, now, now uh, Don, so Vince is a guy, he started fighting at 27. He's got a record of, what, 12 and 2 or something? Yeah, 12 and 2. Uh, 12 and two with like nine knockouts, got severe fucking power, both hands, he, but he's, he's a little long, he's, he's 37, 38. He just quit his job. He was doing triple A, then he was an electrician. Then he was, I don't know what you were doing. He's like, fuck it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a full-time fighter. Electrician right was the said last that, time. Coronavirus fucking hits. Uh, and, he, and, and he's pissed off as hell at like the mayor of, 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 Cal, of the governor of California because he yeah, can't train. Around. And the guy wants to fight. Don Fry, give him some wisdom. Well, the governor of California is uh, the nephew of Nancy Pelosi, you know? It, it, it's, they're a couple of fucking idiots. And uh, you know, they're doing everything they can to destroy Donald Trump. And, you know, he, there's something you can say. You just got to sit there with your putt in your hand like the rest of the fucking country, you know, until, until we decide to grow a set of balls and, and get after it. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 but Vince has some terrible ideas. He says he wants to beat up the governor when he sees him. I'm sure <laughs> not to do that, right? <laughs> Listen, it's totally hey, fine. You know what? He could probably yell boo and the guy would piss his pants. <laughs> <laughs> He <laughs> fucking for sure would. <laughs> uh, now, I know Tito Ortiz says he's going to become a cop, Don. Uh, after all the riots that happened, he wants to become a police officer. You think this is a good idea? Who? Tito Ortiz? Yeah, oh. hell, I'd... I'd, oh, yeah, I'd, I'd like to do it, too, you know? <laughs> That's the problem. I'd like to do it, too. <laughs> Same, honestly. You don't think Don Fry and Tito as cops would be the best show on oh television? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'd watch it. <laughs> Fighting all day in the fucking cops' line. <laughs> but who was better? <laughs> we parked in the, we'd be parked in the donut parking lot, you know? Shit. <laughs> <Not ours. laughs> no, no, Don, last time uh, we had a guest on that was a female – you asked her if she wanted to go on a mustache ride. Um, did your did your girlfriend get mad at you for this or no? Uh, 
<laughs> yes and no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How's that a yes and no? Oh, kind of. Yeah. It's probably more of just jealousy apparently thing, right? She thinks she owns, yeah, apparently she thinks she owns the mustache, you know? Yeah. <laughs> All right, who do you think wins? Uh, Stipe or DC in the, in the, tr the trilogy? Stipe. Stipe. Uh, well, you know, we're all a bunch of white we're a bunch of white racists, so what do you expect us to say? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I go by the fighter. I think that Stipe got his number now. But you yeah. know, I think Stipe's gonna outbox him. As a simple, he's gonna outlast him, outbox him, mm -hmm. and he's gonna it's gonna be the same result. But don't get it twisted. If Cormier gets in there and some dirty boxing and he gets that uppercut again. It's snappy nap time. Because he, he napped. What the fuck is dirty? What the fuck is dirty boxing? Everything boxing is dirty. I know what you know what the fuck I mean. What are you talking about? You know what I, you know what I mean. That enclosed dirty. It's all boxing. It's all boxing. They call it dirty boxing. That's why I said it. I'm just now, Don, now, Don, I watched. I call that a good time. Now, Don, I, I watched your fight with Mark Coleman, right? And Coleman was headbutting you. Yeah. You, had your, you had your head on the mat, and he's headbutting the shit out of you and kneeing you in the head. And you're just taking it like a fucking, like a, like a man. Are, are, is guys like Vince and Alicia, are they pussies? Like, because you. I'll headbutt a motherfucker. What? <laughs> <took Yeah. them>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what you hey, I'll fall with rise and rolls. I'll take a knee to the head. I'll, I'll knee a fucker in the head. Yeah. While they're inside. Uh, you'll take a what to the head? She'll take a knee. She'll take a knee to the head. You want me to give what to your head? No, oh no, my god! Don, that's not what she's saying. You're old enough to be her. Uh, uh, I don't know, priest or something. Uh, I, I, it's just she's, 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 <laughs> But it did sound like she said something else to the head. I, of course, she's oh right. god. She's so 25. Of 15, 20. 40 men, like yeah, you sounded like you. <laughs> no, no, Don. She said fighting in Japan was one of the highlights of her career. Did mm -hmm. you like the? Do you like the crowds better in Japan or the U.S.? You know, um, shit. I love the crowd everywhere we were at. Um, the Japanese crowd is much more respectful than the U.S. crowd. You know, um, the thing is, the Japanese. The only thing they have to spend their money on is entertainment so they're not going to go and get drunk and and make an ass of themselves and get in a fight and fuck it up and get kicked out like you know people here in the u.s you know they go and get drunk and then they they get in a shoving mess and they're out on the street waiting you know they have to go to the bar or somewhere and find out what's going on you know they uh but the people here in the u.s fuck they're americans they're americans that's why that's why we should be fighting this covid virus you know Gravity. Why are we? Why are we lying around with our tail tucked between our legs? Cause it's a virus. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck you gonna hit about a virus? Listen, I, like it. I know what you're saying. You Those the the flu. Right, but you can't hit but a virus. You can't fucking grab the scruff of a virus's neck and start socking it. You can't. You gotta. You know what? It, then you said it right. Wash your hands. Wear a fucking mask. And do that shit you gotta do, but you can't do it. You can't. Don, are you wearing a mask, Don? Baby, I'm too pretty to wear a mask. You know, <laughs> other people have to. But... I'll give you that. I will give you that. There ain't no virus getting through that mustache. <laughs> that mustache has to run <laughs> it's, free. It's, it's, <laughs> President Trump. President Trump passed an executive uh, decision. That I am not allowed to to hide my pretty face. You know, I can't wear a mask. So, <laughs> you're gonna let that mustache look free, like the apex predator it is. <laughs> All right. Well, listen, that's our podcast today. Alicia, where can people follow you? Um, people can follow me at Alicia Zap on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and yeah. also find me on YouTube. Yes, yes. Don, where can people follow you? You follow me right down to my uh, down the hallway to my bedroom. <laughs> uh, uh, Vince, where can people follow you? Uh, 
uh, Instagram, <laughs> Facebook, uh, Twitter, Twitch, Chrome Healthy okay. Show. Chrome Healthy Show. I got it. Uh, Ween Dog, you? Follow me on Twitter at the Joe Perez Show. <laughs> Shang? At Comedian Shang. And the website is IamShang.com. Well, and, all right. And then you got a special out too, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Shangri. And then I got a, another Angry. one. <laughs> I like that. Shangri, yes. Yeah, <laughs> that's my style of comedy. He knows. I, I punch babies. I don't give a fuck. So, <laughs> but if a baby don't got good defense, that's not my fucking fault. Okay? <laughs> Work on your defense. Sugar and raisin. We can raise brawl. We can brawl. <laughs> Well, no, listen, it's that comedian saying you can follow me. There. You can download my special Adam Hunter Still Broke on Amazon. It's on Amazon Prime. Uh, thank you guys so much. You guys are the best. Thank you guys.